Hello YouTube, this is Phantom and welcome to Mad Madness. In this tournament it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an AFC matchup today in Lincoln Financial in Philadelphia. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Ravens, it's the Steelers, it's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. And there's Flacco getting ready. It's win or go home in this one, so Steelers win, they move on. Ravens win, they move on. And it looks like Pittsburgh will get the ball first, which means that Baltimore will get the ball first in the start of the second half. Kicks away. And Toussaint's going to run it out of the end zone. And he doesn't get to the 25, drop three yards short at the 22. And that's where Pittsburgh will come out for their first drive. And here comes Big Ben. He was thinking about retirement a couple years ago after his playoff loss against New England. But he's been back. And they were in the playoffs again last year before they lost to the Jaguars in kind of a hilarious fashion, depending on which team you're rooting for. I'll just say it's a very Steelers way that they lost. And Big Ben hands to Bell, who spins, and he's got a first down for the first play in this game. Oh, not quite. Just, they're going to call it second and inches, which might be better because now they have a free play and they can take a shot down the field and still give themselves a really good chance of getting that first down. Three receivers for Big Ben. Bell's behind him. Hands it off to Bell, who loses yardage, loses three. So we're gonna have our first third down of the game. They just blissed with the man that Big Ben didn't see coming. Big Ben thought he was playing one coverage, he was playing another. They ran at him, and so the play meshed perfectly with Baltimore's defense. Third and three now. Ben's in the sec in the shotgun. Roethlisberger steps up, throws, and hits Jesse James, who's got a big gain out to the 49-yard line. So they convert on their first third down attempt. It seems like it's just a perfect, perfectly ran crossing route, from what I can tell. And there's Tomlin, who should be rather calm after getting that big gain on third down. And that's really the Steelers' strong point, is they got a running back and they got receivers and tight ends for days. Roethlisberger takes a seven-step drop and throws it just a bit too far. I think he was trying to get it to Antonio Brown on that play. And here's the Steelers' offense, are obviously their strongest part of their team. Brown and Bell and Bryant and James and Ridley. This team is pretty stacked on the offensive side of the ball. Roethlisberger under center, running formation. McDonald in motion, Ridley in the backfield. First carry for Ridley and he goes nowhere. He's gonna lose a yard, third and 11 coming up. 
So, second, third down of the drive. They're one for one thus far, trying to make it two for two. So with the under five seconds on the play clock, they'll snap it to Ben in the shotgun. And he's gonna throw immediately, hits McDonald over the middle. He's got a first down and more. The ball's now at the Ravens 31. Vance McDonald with the reception. And it looked like the Ravens were just doing a conservative zone on that play. And we do that against experienced quarterbacks that can usually find the gaps unless you do something to confuse them. So they're two for two on third down. Here is first down. Bunch receivers to the right. Could be a run, could be a throw. It's a throw. Roethlisberger throws and hits Bryant over the middle. And Bryant's had some controversy too over the past year or so. Threatening to, low-key low threatening to move to a different team if he didn't get the catches that he wanted. And as the season went on, Pittsburgh did get him his looks. So I would be very surprised if he moved on after this season or requested a trade. Second and four coming up. Roethlisberger's going to throw over the middle again. He hits James for his second time of the game. Roethlisberger's 4 or 5 on this drive. And when you get the ball first to start the game, you pretty much have to score. Otherwise, you're putting yourself in a deeper hole because the other team's going to get the ball to start the second half. And if they have a lead going into the second half and they get the ball to start the second, you're in a bigger hole than it seems. So good job by Pittsburgh doing what needs to be done as they are now inside the red zone. Running formation. Roethlisberger throws and hits James again. Third catch of the drive. And here's the Ravens defense. This is probably their strongest part of their team. So we got a strong offense going against a strong defense and a weak defense against a weak offense. So it's a pretty even matchup across the board. Bunch set of receivers to the right of Ben who's under center. Ben hands it to Bell and Bell gets it close to the goal line up to the two. And that's a first down, first and goal from the two for Pittsburgh on their first drive. And when the lineman went up front, Bell just has to walk through basically, untouched. And those are the best running plays. Up the gut with great blocking for good gains. Coming to the end of the first quarter now, under a minute to play, as the Steelers come in the eye, and looks like they're gonna get them off sides with the cadence. And it's going to give them an extra yard, having how or dividing the amount of yardage needed by two. So first and goal from the one. And if I'm the Steelers, I got Le'Veon. I ran it down here on the last play. I'm just going to feed him three times. And running formation for the offense. Ridley doesn't get in. He's going to get as close as he possibly can to the goal line. But Baltimore is going to stand him up and he won't get in. And 
And I expect to see Le'Veon get this next carry. I formation. Big Ben under center. And they won't get the snap off. It's the end of the first quarter. So, Steelers are on the goal line. Score still 0-0. Tomlin getting ready to call this next play, trying to get it in the end zone, make the score 7 to 0. And the Steelers are going to break huddle. Coming out in the eye, same formation as they came out in last time. Bell, and he walks in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Steelers. Just a simple run up the gut, and when that whoops, and that when that's been working for so long, you just go back to what works. Just stick with it. And Ben's fired up. So one second into the quarter, and the score is going to be now 7-zip. Steelers lead, but Baltimore has not seen the ball yet. Steelers finish that drive 2-for-2 two two on third down. And the ball pretty much hit everyone except for Antonio Brown. comes the Steelers kicking it away balls caught at the two-yard line and Campanero's gonna run it up get just beyond the 25 to the 26 where he's driven down and here comes Baltimore trying to match that touchdown and Joe Flacco leads them Flacco is a Super Bowl champion even though his team doesn't feel like a recent Super Bowl contender. I suppose it's been about six years. And the Ravens really haven't made the playoffs, I don't think, since they won the Super Bowl. And that's why a lot of NFL watchers call Flacco the, with the nickname Fluco. And Flacco's going to throw incomplete. Try to hit him on the curl, but he drops it. Second and ten. Upcoming. Three receivers. Flacco's going to throw. Rolls up in the pocket and just tosses it away. So, just like that, it's third down. To keep the drive alive and to avoid a three and out. Flacco, he's gonna hit Watson, who spun down after a gain of six, but it's not enough for a first down. So Baltimore's gonna go three and out on their first possession. And this game's going perfectly for Pittsburgh so far.
Cook kicks it. And the ball's going to land at the four-yard line and bounce into the end zone for a touchback. So Pittsburgh's going to have to work out from the 20. Maybe on Bell only got four rushes for 17, but he did get that touchdown. Running formation for the offense. Roethlisberger to Bell. And Bell gets about one. Second and nine coming up. And if the Ravens can get another stop here, they'll have a third and long, which will give them a better chance of getting that stop and getting their defense on the field. So Pittsburgh trying to avoid a third and long. will snap the ball under center. Roethlisberger hands to Bell once again, and Bell's got room. And he was untouched until the 36-yard line where he's taken down. So they avoid the third and long, and they even get the first down and then some, an extra five yards. And if your line can dominate the entire game, you don't even need to throw the ball and risk an interception. You just run the ball all game long. Three receivers for the Steelers. Steelers going to throw. Roethlisberger rolls right or left. And throws it just a bit too long for his receiver. He's trying to hit Antonio Brown for the first time. And it's getting a little bit chippy out here. Roethlisberger will be alone in the backfield for this next throw. Nearly picked. He was trying to get it to Martavis Bryant. And the Ra but the Ravens broke on the ball perfectly, and they could have had a pick if they could have caught the ball. And that would that could have been a pick six, maybe not because of his positioning, but if he caught that in stride, it could have been. So third and long, the first third and long for the Steelers in this one. Well, actually, the second one. They're 100% thus far. James in motion. Big Ben's alone. Pump fakes. Rolls to his right. And he's going to run for the first down. He's got it. And then some. Roethlisberger shows his legs. And that's good for 21. And they're into Baltimore territory. And he knew it was man coverage all the way, and when that happens, you can just cut up field as the quarterback and usually be untouched. So that'll bring up a new set of downs. And three receivers. Two bunched on the right. Ben hands it to Ridley. Simple halfback base, but the line loses that time, and so does Ridley. Team loses one on the play. Running formation for the Steelers. Roethlisberger under center. Hands it to Ridley once again. And Ridley gets back-to-back -back carries. He doesn't get much. He only gets two or three yards. It's going to set up a third and eight. And so Steelers have been getting a lot of third and longs, but they've been able to convert them.
Ravens will be sending pressure, it appears, and they will. Roethlisberger. And he tries to hit it to Brown. Ball's bouted around, incomplete. Terrell Suggs with the pass defense. So after giving up a touchdown on the first drive, the Ravens only give up a few first downs. Barry kicks it away, and the ball's going to sail out of bounds. Good kick. Pinning Baltimore inside zone 20 at the 15. Baltimore is going to be able to do about one play before the two minute warning. Unless it's a quick incompletion. I got the yawns today. Bunch set of receivers on the right. Collins gets it, his first carry of the game, and it's only good for one yard. And we're at the two minute warning. So, Baltimore's down, but they have the ball. They're down. Zero to seven. And we're back. Flacco and the shotgun. Flacco, time. Throws it away. And they're going to have a third and nine. And they are still held without a first down in this game. Three receivers. Flacco. And he hits Macklin, who has a first down, the first first down of the game. And Ravens immediately will hurry back to the line. No celebration. Flacco. Surveys. Rolls. Throws it deep downfield. And it's batted incomplete. If he would have thrown it just a a little bit farther, maybe two yards, that'd be a touchdown, but as it stands, the clock stops and it's going to be second down. Four receivers for the Ravens. Flacco hits his receiver, but there is a flag down. And it could have been a gain of about 10. Instead, it's a loss of 10. And that will get you in a lot of trouble as an offense. Those holding calls are drive killers. Luckily, it's only second down, so... If the Ravens can string together two decently sized completions, they can still get the first, but you don't want to force anything from your own 15. Flacco, and it's too long. Could have been intercepted on that play. So then that, that's going to bring up a third and 20. Ravens are one for two on third down so far. Trying to make it two for three. Flacco's going to be under center. 
And they're just going to hand it to Danny Woodhead, who loses yardage. Pittsburgh's going to take the timeout. And Baltimore just giving up on the drive with the run, running call. All right, we're back. Fourth and 22. Baltimore will likely punt if they have any sense of the common. It's quiet. Kicking from his own end zone. Cook. And that kicks away. Oh, what a kick. Gets the bounce. And that's that's a 90-yard punt. That is a 90-yard punt. Wow. That's near the record for the best punt in NFL history. Wow. So now Pittsburgh has to go the entire length of the field while they're expecting to get the ball maybe near the 30 or the 40. What a kick. What a kick. And maybe the punter can give the Ravens some momentum. Roethlisberger deflects the pass off of Brown. The defender does, and it's going to be second and 10. Minute 15 on the clock. Roethlisberger takes the snap. He's going to roll up field with his legs, and he's tackled. Gain of about four, and Baltimore's going to take a timeout. And we're back. And I'm still reeling from that punt. That is an insane punt. Of course, the bounce was just perfect on it. But that's one of the farthest punts you'll ever see. Wow. Out come the Steelers, and we're going to get a penalty pre-snap. Who is this going to be against? And the defense struggling right now. So it was a third and six. It's going to be third and one now. And Pittsburgh's odds of making this first down have gone way up. Steelers are three for four right now. Trying to make it four for five. Three for four, that's 75%. And if you remember, a lot of those third downs have been pretty far. So we'll see. Third and one. Defense is going to get ready for this snap. And here comes the offense. Bryant's in the slot. Bell in motion. Ben's alone in the backfield. Ben gets McDonald for a short game. And there's a flag down. But Pittsburgh does have the first. Let's see what, it's gonna, what the call is. Wow. So back to back penalties on the defense that will give the Steelers about an extra 20 yards plus that four yard completion. That's a 24 yard series of events. Just about.
And Steeler is going to break huddle. Ben's in the shotgun. Ravens are sending some pressure. Roethlisberger rolling to his right. Brings it upfield. Takes the, takes the hit. But it's enough for a first and much more. They're on the edge of field goal range. After starting inside their own 10. Steelers going to break huddle. Clock is stopped with 57 seconds left. Ben's going to line up under center. It's a balanced formation. And he's going to throw. Roethlisberger's going to roll again. And he jukes two defenders. Taken down at the 22. And Ben's on fire with his legs so far in this one. What a move. Showing in his old age, he can still do it. Ben in the shotgun. Three receivers. Pretty balanced formation. And his cadence is going to get the encroachment penalty. Encroachment. Matthew Judon, and that's the third penalty of this drive committed by Baltimore. Still first down. And it's going to set up first and five, 26 seconds, and the clock is running. Steelers rush up to the line. Roethlisberger's going to throw. Under 15 seconds. Throws toward the end zone. Pass is nearly picked. And that would have been a game changer. But instead, clock stops. Second and five upcoming. And it looks like he wasn't going for the pick. He was just trying to bat it down. I would go for the pick in that situation. Mental error by the Ravens on a drive that's filled with them. Roethlisberger hits Bryan over the right, and Pittsburgh's going to take a timeout. They have a first. And we'll step aside for just a sec. 7-zip. And we're back. Steelers will likely settle for the field goal here. They do have the ability to sneak a shot in if they want to, and they will. But Ben can't take a sack, and he can't complete the ball in bounds. Ravens are going to blitz. Takes the handoff. And the throw is incomplete. Senses the pressure and just tosses it over the head of everyone. Second and ten upcoming. And now the Steelers really should just kick the field goal and they will. Jones holds for Boswell, and the kick's good. He's one for one, and the Steelers are going to come into halftime with a 10-zip lead. They're going to have to kick off the ball, but unless something crazy happens, the score will be 10-zip at the half. 
Baltimore will get the ball to start the second half. Number 10 will catch the ball down 10. Moore's going to catch it inbounds near his goal line. He's going to run it up and he's going to be taken down and that's going to do it for the first half. Steelers have a 10 zip lead. And we're going to skip the halftime. All right, halftime skipped. We're into the third. Baltimore will receive the ball. And they have a chance to make this a one score game. And the kicks away. Caught on the two again by Moore. Moore's going to run it up. And he's going to be taken up down at the 28. So a three yard net gain on the return. And Baltimore's going to come out. They've been shut out in the first half. So they're going to have to make this one of those comeback games. It's only They're only down two possessions, which in the NFL can be erased immediately. So we'll see what Baltimore can do. They haven't really done much with their run game. They've had maybe one or two runs all game. They might try and do that. Flacco under center. Blacko hands to Collins, who's just walloped. Loss of three on the play. And that's his second tackle for a loss in this game. Collins, who was cut from Seattle because he wasn't good enough, isn't running well in this one. But during the regular season, he had a he had a pretty good rushing game. He gave Baltimore. Part, they were, he was part of the reason that Baltimore had a chance to make the playoffs in the first place. Running formation. Black is going to throw. Throws deep over the middle. Hits Williams. And it's a gain of about 15. His first reception of the day. So, new set of downs for the Ravens. Flacco is going to come out under center. Bunch set of receivers to his right. Flacco hands to Collins, who's got his biggest gain of the, the, the night. And that brings him to positive yardage. It's gain of five. Joe Hayden with the tackle. Second and five as Flacco comes out in a running formation. And he will hand it to Collins, who's got a hole. He's got some daylight. Collins, his biggest run of the game again on back-to-back -back runs. And now Baltimore's driving. I like it. Down 10 zip. I haven't tried the run. Try the run. Flacco under center. Flacco fakes the handoff. 
Takes his time, throws deep down the field, and he's got Wallace for a touchdown. Touchdown, Ravens. Beautiful throw, beautiful catch. The play action, the running to set up the play action worked on that drive. And now the Ravens are only down three. And Baltimore's got to feel pretty good right now. While Tomlin has to be pretty frustrated on the other end. Ryan Mallett holds as Tucker makes it 7 to 10 Pittsburgh and that touchdown changes this game entirely Pittsburgh might have been going for that death blow but now they just have to answer And it's worth noting that the Ravens didn't have one third down on that entire drive. Bryant back to catch. And the ball's going to sail out of bounds. So they will start at the 25. And I'll come the Steelers for their first possession of the second half. Roethlisberger under center for the first play. McDonald comes in motion. Stays on the right side. Hands the ball to Bell. And it's going to be a loss of one. So Ravens start off their defensive drive pretty well. So back to the drawing board. Let's see if the Steelers decide to keep it on the ground. Three receivers. Bounce set. Roethlisberger is going to throw on second and 11. Throws left. Too long. So here comes a third and long. Ravens have had the ball for almost no time at all, but they found a way in that time to get a touchdown. It's not time of possession that wins the game, it's points. Brown, he's been held without a catch in this one, lines up, five wide, Ben alone in shotgun, takes a snap. Roethlisberg over the middle. He's got Brown for his first catch of the game. And it's enough for a first down and five or six yards more. And just like that, Pittsburgh's on the edge of Fugle range. And that makes the Steelers five for six on third down. They're the first team in Mad Madness to get five first down or five first downs on third down. In a game, I should say. As the Steelers come out in a balanced set. Roethlisberger fakes to Bell. Throws over the middle, and he's got Bryant. Who they're gonna say it's a catch. And the Steelers. Oh, they're not on. They were not on the edge of field goal range. I was mistaken. 
Now they are. So Martavis Bryant is having a decent day so far. Ben's going to be under center, and here comes Bell up the gut. It's a gain of two on the play. Setting up a second and nine. They're going to say it was only good for one yard. So the run hasn't been doing very well on this play, or on this drive. But throwing the ball has. So we'll see if the Steelers, and it seems that they will go to the air. Ravens are going to send pressure. James, he's got the first. Ben threw that under pressure. The man was running at him. And he stayed cool in the pocket and just flinged it to the open tight end. And he takes a shot. Just under 30 seconds left in the third as Pittsburgh comes out in a three wide receiver set. He's going to throw. And it's a pick. Throws it right to Eric Weddle. So he's been flirting with interceptions all game long, but this time it's actually a pick. And Baltimore has a chance to take the lead or tie now. That's a big swing. What a huge play. Ball's right to him. And that's the first real interception in Mad Madness. There was one before in the Redskins game, but that was during a Hail Mary attempt at the end of the game. This is the first interception with some real consequences. So Ravens, sudden change. Let's see if they can capitalize. And the Ravens are going to break huddle. See what they can do after the interception. Under center is Flacco. Hands to Collins. And Collins is going to lose some yards. Loss of one on the play. So, Steelers, defense, not shaken up by the sudden change. They go out and they get to work. And they know that if they can stop the running game, then that play action pass wouldn't have happened on that last drive. So, their priority on this drive should be to stop the run. And that's going to do it. That run by Collins will be the last play of the third quarter. And we're going to go to the fourth. So it's been a pretty good one so far. Ravens with the ball down 10 7. All right. Steelers are leading 10 7 at the start of the fourth. Ravens with the ball, playing for the lead. Out comes Baltimore. Four receivers. Dealers sending pressure. And the receiver and the defender fight for the ball, and it just ends up falling harmlessly to the turf. That was really anyone's ball. Here comes another third down for the Ravens, who've only had one for three thus far. Their fourth attempt. They're trying to make it two for four. Four receivers. Flacco's going to throw. Flacco under pressure. Hits Benjamin Watson, but it's not enough. It's going to bring up fourth down, fourth and two. 
and the Steelers, after that interception, locked down. Now, they're on their own side of the field, but they're near midfield. We'll see if they go for it, and it looks like they will. Flacco in the eye. Biggest play of the game thus far. Motion. Flacco. Collins. And it's not going to get there. Steelers are going to take the ball back on the Ravens 44. And that's just a, honestly, that's just a lazy play call. So out comes Big Ben. He's throwing a pick. But they got the ball back pretty much where the pick happened, so... Ben's going to get a second chance. Ben's going to come out under center. Four receivers. Running formation, nevertheless. He's going to hand it to Bell up the gut, who's got daylight. Daylight shuts quickly as it's only a gain of four. Second and six upcoming. Running formation once again for the Steelers. And it's a handoff to Bell, and there's a flag down as Bell's tackled for not much gain. Gain of one, and I think it's going to be a face mask. Turns out it is a face mask, and so Pittsburgh's in much more makeable field position for a field goal. Let's see if Baltimore's defense can lock down after they've been struggling for most of this game. Take out the interception, and the Ravens have really done nothing on defense. This looks to be man coverage. Roethlisberger fakes the handoff. Roethlisberger th steps up and throws too long. To the side and too long for a big Ben's throw. Just over five to play as the Steelers will get ready for a second and ten. Three receivers, balance formation for Roethlisberger who ends it to Bell. Left side, Bell gets a net gain of about eight. He had daylight for a second, but the Ravens swallowed that up quickly. Third and two upcoming. This will be their seventh attempt at a third down, which is, I believe it's tied for the most attempts in a game thus far in Mad Madness. A lot of third downs for this offense. And we're going to see a balanced formation. Roethlisberger rolls right, not looking downfield, cuts up field, and he's got the first. He should have enough for the first down, and it is, and that's a mistake by Williams. There's nobody behind you. You see he's cutting up field, going for that first. You have four, four defenders in the area. So, once again, the Ravens' defense struggles to get off the field. And Pittsburgh will run more clock and continue to bleed this one out. Although it's not completely over for the Ravens. If they can get a stop and just give up a field goal, Baltimore can get a touchdown and still gain the lead. Although their window of hope is dwindling a bit. Running formation, Roethlisberger runs with Ridley up the gut. Ridley gets a first down. He's down at the three-yard line, first and goal. 
and that should be Ridley's biggest play of the game. Biggest game, I should say. So Baltimore's life in the balance as the Steelers line up in the eye. Bell, there's a flag down, but Bell does get into the end zone. Let's see what this is about. Looks to be holding. And it is. So Baltimore survives for another down. And the Steelers are backed up. And now their odds of getting a touchdown have fallen considerably. Ben under center. And he's going to just hand it to Bell. Ball's loose. And it looks to be... Baltimore's ball it is. So Bell has a touchdown and a turnover in this one. And the Ravens are going to get the ball with a chance to gain the lead. So two sudden changes in the deep side of the field for the Ravens, both in the, the best way. So, Ravens have some time now to work with, just under three and a half in the fourth. Flacco comes out under center. Flacco's going to throw. And no, he's not. He's sacked. Sacked immediately. Loss of six on the play. And once again, the Steelers' defense steps up. First sack of the game by either team. Just shoots the gap. And luckily, Flacco got his head around to see him coming at the last second. Otherwise, he might have fumbled that ball. All right, Baltimore is coming out, second and 16. Flacco. Flacco hits Perryman, and Perryman drives a couple, couple Steelers out to the 21, so it's a gain of about nine. Third and seven coming up. And the Ravens need a first down here. They've been struggling the entire game. They're one for four. So let's see if they can get a first down. They don't have to run this play if they don't want to. And they won't. Two minute warning here in Lincoln Financial. Baltimore with the ball, down three points. It's 10-7 Steelers. All right, we're back as the Steelers have a three-point lead, but they're trying to hold on for dear life. Ravens can play this either way. They can play four down territory, or they can let their defense out there as Flacco's alone in the shotgun. Flacco. Flacco running for his life. He's sacked again. So no sacks until this set of downs. And they're not even going to think about it. They're going to go for this one. Fourth and 17. Flacco. He's sacked a third time. 
Pittsburgh. And they're going to get the ball back exactly where they fumbled it. Maybe a few yards better. And so the Steelers' defense has really come to play today. No sacks for either team until that last set of downs, and then sack, sack, sack. So Steelers will have a chance to put this game away. They've been struggling here. Let's see if they can actually get it done. Roethlisberger throws, and he's got a touchdown to Brown. Antonio Brown. And that should just about do it. And if there was a message that says the Steelers are meant to win this game, it's the way this game played out, especially in the second half. Two turnovers with the chance to put the game away, and the, and the Ravens just couldn't get it done. So, Boswell hits the extra point. It's a 10-point game with just under a minute and 45 on the clock. And Baltimore needs a miracle. If I'm Baltimore, I'm trying to score without using a timeout. That way, you can kick the ball to Pittsburgh. And you can hope for a three and out. Get the ball back with enough time left on the clock to set up a last second field goal for overtime. Well, we'll kick it away. Over the head of the return man. And the ball's going to come out to 25 as Baltimore begins its prayer. Fun fact, Steelers' two turnovers in this game has set the record for the most turnovers by a team in Madden Madness thus far. And this is game 10. Flacco. Throws left over the head of everyone. <laughs> Throws it away. Brings up second and 10. Stops clock. And odds are that was the smartest play. Stops the clock, he doesn't take a sack, and they live to fight another down. And it gives them time to think about this next play. Bounce formation. Flacco's going to throw toward the left sideline, and he's got Macklin. Decent gain, and Baltimore's going to run back to the line. Flacco going to throw once again. He hits Perryman. Perryman's gone. Touchdown, Baltimore. And that's exactly what they needed to do. This game's not over yet, folks. What a miracle play. thought it was over here comes the extra point to make it a three-point game and it's good three-point game Pittsburgh has to take this ball and run it run it get at least the first down
Tucker's getting ready to kick it away. We'll see if they go for the onside kick or if they try and kick it deep. It's an onside kick. Kicks away, and Sears recover immediately. Eli Rogers gets it. And now Baltimore just needs a three and out. We'll see if Pittsburgh can get him, put him away. Ben's had a rough game so far. Ben under center. Looks like they're going to run it. And they will with Bell. And Bell's got a pretty good gain on first down, gain of four. Baltimore's going to spend their first time out. Ben under center. Running formation. Bell gets the ball. Bell's walloped. Smacked down. It's only going to be a gain of about one or two. And here we go. Play of the game upcoming. And Steelers have converted on five attempts thus far. They've attempted at seven. This is their eighth attempt. Baltimore has been struggling on third down on defense the entire game. We'll see if they can actually get a stop when it matters most. With that timeout, Steelers also have a lot of time to think about this next play. They know Baltimore is going to be blitzing, so if you can call a blitz beater play, they'll have a good chance of winning. Steeler is going to come out. Ben in the shotgun. Bell to his left. Three receivers. Big Ben. Rolls. And he's take. Oh! Flag down. It's Bryant. And what the heck just happened? Looked like it was going to be a sack, but instead he hits Brown for a big play. And Baltimore should be breathing a sigh of relief. So it was going to be for a big gainer, but wow. Hold, offensive holding will erase that and also give Baltimore a really good shot at getting the ball back down three with under a minute to play. Ben, under center. Hands it to Bell. And Bell had a line, had a line, but he doesn't recover from the stumble, and instead falls down eight yards short of the first down. Ravens gonna get the ball. And Tomlin's got to hope that his defense can step up here and do what they've been able to do all game. Here comes the punt man. 
and he's just going to try and pin them deep in their own territory. Barry kicks. And that's an excellent punt. Excellent punting in this game. That one's out at the five-yard line. And Flacco's had a total turnaround. Total turnaround for Flacco. Let's see if he can keep it going. They just need a field goal. No timeouts. 47 seconds on the clock. And Pittsburgh can ice with their timeouts if it comes down to it. Flacco starting out of his own end zone. Flacco. He's going to throw. Flacco rolls to his right. His left. Steps up. And it's complete. Big gain. So now they're up, just like that. They're getting close to field goal range. 48 yard line midfield. So Baltimore is putting together a miracle right now. Let's see if they can complete. That stops the clock. 38 seconds left. A first down would put him in field goal range. As Flacco comes out. Four wide. Flacco. Throws. He's got Collins. And Collins has field goal range and more. Clock's running as he's taken down at the 33. Flacco's going to hurry back to the line. And he spikes the ball with 23 seconds left at the 33. And we'll see if they'll take a shot at the end zone for the win. Very dangerous. You need to manage the situation well. Can't take a sack. Can't have... Well, you can use the entire field if you can get your guys up for the spike. Let's see what they do. Flacco, shotgun, takes the handoff, throws, incomplete, over the head of his receiver. And third and ten upcoming for the Ravens. They're one for five so far, only 20%. This will be their sixth attempt. Oh, they're just going to take the field goal and get out of here. Try and force halftime. And Pittsburgh's going to try and ice. So we'll see what happens with this game deciding kick after this three-point game. All right, remember, whoever loses this game is done. Their season's over. And we've already had the Patriots eliminated and the Eagles. So there will be no repeats. And Baltimore, if they want to avoid icing the kicker, can go out there and run another play instead. But they will not. They'll try this kick. Kicks from 33. Kick at the 40. Tucker for the overtime. And it's not going to get there. Baltimore missed. It was just a little bit too short. And Pittsburgh is going to survive, it looks like. Wow. What a critical mistake. Good attempt, though, by the Ravens. And... The Steelers will just kneel it and take away this win and move on. And Baltimore's got to be thinking about that. That decision to kick it on third down, they had another play they could have run. And here come the Steelers. Ben's going to kneel. And that's going to do it. Pittsburgh's going to win this game 17-14. What a good game. So, it's official. Steelers will win 17-14 and move on to the second round. Just barely surviving the Ravens.
So here's the bracket as it is. Steelers will move on and they'll play the winner of the Bengals and the Browns. So Steelers will have a pretty good shot to move on to the third round depending on how they play this next week. And the next game will be Bengals and Browns so stay tuned for that. Um, hit the subscribe button if you want to see what happens and if you like that game, I think you did, that was intense at the end. Uh, hit that like button. All right. So that Steelers are winners in this one, and they're going to move on. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, adios. See you.